Alright. Where are you? What the? Okay. You're just gonna be a random griffin there, are you? Alright. Well, I'm gonna deal with you. In this world of gods and monsters, Phoenix didn't only need to be wise and strong, but fast. Good luck. Mortals move as slowly as Dionysus going to rehab. Not on horseback, they don't. Oh! Good to know. Oh, cry aloud. That lost me a few valuable seconds. That was close. That was pretty cool. Ah, let me guess. The legendary chariot? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I bet this is the legendary chariot as well. Cool. Ah, uh, it's a horse there, not that fast if I'm honest. Just go in whatever order they appear, I think, for once. Yeah. Alright, well, it looks like Tartaros falters first. Not particularly that fast, to be fair. Oh, hello. Oh, that was back over here, that's right. For one, I'll take that. Cute. Oh, can I please have another? Um, uh, what did I call them again? Totally arena bar. <laughs> Thank you so much, game. You've answered. Wow, if I ask nicely enough and often enough, I actually get that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, 
Let's do this. I actually enjoy these. Couple of bears, no problem. I shouldn't have used the Athena's dash. Okay, okay, that's on me. That one is completely 100% on me. Did the god power? Because I got him. Excuse me. Bad bear. Naughty bear. God, that gave you a fright. Sheer noise of them collectively that I legitimately thought. I actually thought I was about to face a big Lu Griffin lieutenant or something. It's just like, just that shriek of. Hey! God. That actually freaked me out there for a moment. Whoa. Expecting there to be a chorus of them. Not in their mouth, just in their sh chorus of shrieking. That was... God. Wow. Did not expect that. Oh. Well, I'm glad they were in the fight. That was nice. Nice change. got one on here. <coughs> Should probably scout that place actually. Yeah. I see there's anything else on the island. Probably isn't, but unless I check and scout I won't know. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, is this that one? Oh, this is that puzzle. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, so with the assumption then that would then mean that this right. Okay. That won't fit through there. Huh. I'm not sure this is... I, I totally forgot to look this up, I must admit. I was going to, but I've just been doing other stuff for the last couple of days. Totally forgot all about it. No, that's the wrong one. Thank you. Yes, that one. Actually, that might have been the perfect position. I need that one to activate that. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I've been totally screwing this up, haven't I? <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Hold on. So... No, that's not what I need to do. Actually, technically speaking... What we should do is pull this over here... I think... Yep, because that should then allow me to do this... I think it's actually... I think I've just been way... I think it's way too complicated, which is typical for me. Oh, you're judging me, Ares. Oh, funny. Funny. You're so damn good. Why didn't you come clucking do this, eh? Yeah, I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Just trying to duck one underneath the other. Managed to glitch the damn thing, so that was useful. Not.
for you. Let me mark you. I thought I marked you before. Obviously not. Yeah. <laughs> I see a gem up there which I'll go and collect. Which would be an excellent place to scout island, so perfect. Don't need gems necessarily, but I'll take them regardless. Definitely things over there. Oh, please let that just be on an island. Oh, okay, that's just one of those jumping ones. That's not a problem. Oh, I've got to get access to that somehow. F wonderful. Ambrosia. Um, oh. <coughs> oh, there's Ambrosia over here. Wow. You things I missed. Oh, this might just be inside the fort thing. Okay, that's quite possible. Well, I do actually need to get um, Ambrosia, which is around here. Let me just mark a few things on the map. Oh, that. Oh, okay. That's not even close to my position. Oh, there's one out here. Okay. Do the first things first type of ordeals. So, shall we? Hey? Okay. Further down, okay. Oh, yeah. So what magic are they asking me to perform here? Right. Okay, so there's a bunch of rocks. Oh, hang on. Nicely. 
So that means to get over there, all right. Problem. Okay, so I've only got a limited amount of attempts. Right. Okay, let's not screw this up then. I wasn't sure actually, that one was just to test whether actually... Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Unknown visual bronze, alright. I guess that's the timed one to some extent, I'm assuming. Alright. Might jump up here first. I, the only reason I'm doing that is because if I can actually get some sort of fast travel here from running, that would be pretty cool. Uh, so it's going to go back and forth type of thing, which is pretty much a useful thing, but whatever. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Hmm. Right. This was a mighty building of some sort, I assume. Some point or other. Oh, okay. What is that leading to? What exactly am I placing up there? That's the question. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha.
So I might be able to angle that a little bit better. Alright. Uh, where is the other one? Oh, I see another one. In this land, Phoenix's sword needed to be shot and aim through, like an Amazonian warrior, master of the bow. I mean, she's no Hippolyta, my granddaughter. She's queen of the Amazons. Phoenix could, I don't know, get her coffee or something. <laughs> Let's not put her down that much, but I get your point that she's the queen of the Amazons, all right, Zeus? I get it, okay? <laughs> no need to put her down that much, but yes, we get your point. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, okay. Right, okay, so there's one there and one up here, okay. Oops. Up you go, come on. Anything up the top here? Let's have a look. Nothing. But... Well, that was kind of useful. Alright, cool. Oh, this is gonna involve a bit of, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I had to just... There we are. Hold that away, lovely. Take care of. The exit point, so. Oh, there. I'm assuming I'm going... Oh, my thought is maybe one of those round the merry-go-round type things. Fortunately not on this occasion. Okay. Make sure I went through them all. Okay. Ok, 
go. Nice. Remember when Heracles was tasked to take Hippolyta's girdle as one of his labors? I really don't want to talk about girdles, especially my granddaughters. Even I have limits. You That's have limits? First. Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> oh dear. I swear it looks like I have to pull some trigger, but it doesn't look like it. I'm just going straight. Oh, I can't. No, 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 no. I have to. Okay. Oh, is this one of the... Oh, okay, okay. That'll work. Come back off, come back on the island. Go back up there, come across, come back down. Go upwards. Yeah. Okay, come on, out the water you go, Phoenix, out the water. Sure. Quickest way up would be over there, I believe. Come across, go up there. I'd rather just glide over there if I could possibly help it. You're not doing very well for gliding today, Phoenix. Every time I try and use that ability, you just don't want to glide and meet the artist. It's like you have to wait a couple of seconds. At, if anyone, I probably should point this out for anyone who's kind of wondering what, why I'm being so pedantic. I have a very healthy respect for the deep water, if I'll put it like that. I just do. Especially in this game, it just... Okay, I'll catch up on one thing. This game has a really weird habit of, of making the water look really murky when you're underneath. Unless it's really sun shining, it doesn't look good. Like, I just wouldn't want to go diving in it, let's put it that way. Easily make this island now. Not sure why they've got that there, but anyway. Oh, that's to get back. Wait. What? Oh, great. Don't tell me I have to go underneath the water, please. What? Uh... Okay.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. You know what? Oh, I just... I've got, I've got, I'm, I'm squeamish. It, in waters that are really murky for me, I am really, really squeamish. I'm not even kidding in games. It... The one... And strangely enough, I was actually a little squeamish. Um, it's more... I came from the fact that because in Odyssey, well, Jeff always had a bit of a healthy respect. I mean, I know, and you're probably thinking, oh, so, excuse me, so you probably hated things like Black Flag. Black Flag actually wasn't bad, because when you're really down, like, in the deeps, like, you can literally see everything in front. Like, it's all really well lit up, even the caves, like, if there were sharks or whatever. You know, everything was really well lit. You could see, like, a hundred meters in front of you like you could actually see exactly what your what your area looked like everything else there was no issues there you know it's and the one and i suppose in odyssey there were a couple of um treasure chests which i don't think i've ever showed on screen i might have might have not but there was a couple which were like a hundred meters down you know like you know so like that or a hundred uh hundred hundred and fifty feet down and you had to have full oxygen levels to do it. Ooh, excuse me. Like they're in the middle of the damn sea, right? And until you know, until you actually got near the place, the water was so murky. I'll tell you, what, it, it it genuinely freaked me. Out. And then, and I know you think, oh yeah, nothing's gonna happen. But the problem is, is that I think one of those things that because it was um, honestly set in like Greek, ancient Greece, and all that. You know, I was expecting, you know, to have a possible boss fight with Krakens or whatever it might be. So, you know, and I saw, like, these pictures of uh, giant fish and the giant octopus. And I was, I genuinely, like, had a healthy respect for the water in the sense that I was actually kind of fearful. Like, when you go down, down, go down and yes, I know they had the Animus Pulse and Vision, whatever you could use in Odyssey and all that, which, um, you know... To a certain depth, if you can see stuff, to a certain extent, sure. But the moment you really start going down, and even if you use the pulse to see stuff, right, just basically to tell you, is there anything down there? That feeling of the unknown freaks me the hell out. It, I, 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 I confess it. It does. It genuinely does. It, it's so uncomfortable, you know. Um, you know, there's some games which, you know. That, that I watch people play, like Bill Slattis, there's, um... Oh, excuse me, there's, uh... There's Abzu, I think it's called. There's, um, Subnautica. You know, and they're really just trailing right down the side of one of those coral reefs into this, the blackest. Like, it's sort of... I'm watching the screen, and I actually start to feel a little uneasy. I know these people are just really thrilled with the experience. I'm just like... God, don't a shark just appear out of nowhere or something? I'm, I'm feeling it's like one of those things, just that apprehension feels like I have such a healthy respect of the deep ocean for that exact reason. So, ironically enough, I love, strangely enough though, I really love watching um, deep uh, deep ocean um, documentaries. I, I I don't know. They're thinking, wait, doesn't that contradict it? It kind of does, but. It's almost like you know what they're looking for, so, and it, because it's using the rate, like, it's, there's really good commentary, like, for these, you know, these doctors and professors who, or these biologists and marine biologists, you, you know, if it's on the stuff for like 10, 20 years, not, they know exactly what they're looking for, and they know exactly what to see, they're describing the experience, so, like, it's like to the point where, you know, and they get really thrilled, and you know, you can sort of tell that they, take the fear away if you've got any fear of it just because it's like oh yes we're coming near it it's like and when you finally see if it's a shark or some new marine life it's only just comes into the uh, you know if you're on these one of these deep sea cameras it just suddenly comes in the view but it doesn't freak you out because like these specials are so excited it's like yes we're found it's like where it's like oh there it is it doesn't actually bring in the shock but the documentary was actually really interesting, really educational, really informative. I've watched quite a few of them, different things, you know, from treasure, 
um, Treasure and stuff to Megalodons to or the existence of Megalodons, great the giant um, octopuses, to all sorts of things. Um, but as soon as it's like in the game sort of thing, and you know, I mean, like the shallow and some of the things you've gone in for Odyssey where it's on the lakes and all that, like sure when you use the pulse, I'm fine with that. It's when you've got the actual ocean, and unless it's like lit up, if you know, unless you can clearly see, when as soon as that's murky, it's like, oh, it's so uncomfortable for me, you know, it, it really is. I, um, I know they, I know they say the best form of medicine is to talk about it, so, because it's just in that situation, it's just like, oh, it's just so uncomfortable for me, you know. Especially when you dive in, it's like, you know, anywhere you could turn, and I'm sure nothing is actually going to happen, but just that feeling, that feeling inside, oh, it's so uncomfortable. You know, if a pillow got those fear of things, I'm sure you can totally understand where I'm coming from, and I am, and I am, emphasize, emph I can say the damn stupid word, you know what I mean? I emphasize with you completely, you know? Just be that too close to the moment, yeah, just feels uncomfortable. Um, anyway, I, I've got that off my chest. I know, just I probably have mentioned it, but probably never really went to detail that much. But um, just because I thought it was just going to be a strap getting in there, got it's just. I mean, probably going to be really fine, but just one of those things like no, 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 like it's one of those things i'd rather be squeamish in my own time doing it so i'm gonna go grab the ambrosia be squeamish on my own because <laughs> it's just easier for me and i'm gonna have and it gives me a chance to also look up the um um those um two volts if i don't do it before the next episode um depending on how many of recording how many videos i've already recorded um tonight it'll just depend if this is number three or I'll do this one, get on land, and we'll continue around the main island and go to the objective. Um, if it is the last one, then I'll figure out and find out how to do those faults. If they're even completable by my, by the standards of my own level of patience, I will attempt them and try to complete them. If not, we'll see. But that'll, you'll find, you'll find out, basically depends on what number of video this is for you I definitely do about three or four, so... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> now that I've waffled on all about that, and... Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd explain that. But yeah, anyway. I'll see you all next time. Take care.